Welcome back, everybody. Happy Days crew. Did you see that? We caught the tail end of one of the babies going potty over here on the puppy pad. Somebody went over there, too. Here's the crew roaming all around at my feet. Here's our babies getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Purebred Lhasa Apso puppies, AKC registered. They are almost seven weeks old, you guys. Over here chewing on my feet. My chews and my pants. They're just so glad to be out of the pen. When I get home from work, I take them out and just let them run around so they can get used to behaving well in a larger space. Because when you get home, I doubt you're going to keep them in the puppy pens all the time. At some point, you're going to let them out. And I would like them not to tear up the place <laughs> once they're there. If you like watching my Lhasa Apso babies and you want to keep informed as I make new videos, I try to make them once a week, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. That way you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. Once one of them goes potty, then the others come over and sniff. And it kind of reminds them what they're supposed to do and where. As you can see, they are all over the place. They are excited to be out and about. And they're just romping. They found their bark. They're starting to make noises, get into things. As you can see over there in the corner, Mr. Mister over there is exploring my furniture, trying to go underneath. Guess what? They're going to do the same stuff at your house. So now's a good time to talk about puppy proofing. Okay? They are just like little human toddler babies. If something is out within their reach, they're going to get into it. If it's on the floor, whether it's an electric cord that's plugged in or your shoes or your tie, anything that happens to be laying on the floor, know that until you train them, it's going to be fair game. They're going to try to pick it up, chew it up. They chew on the puppy pads too. They chew on everything. They chew on these pads that are on the floor for them to lay on. They just like to chew. They have teeth now and they're probably still a little itchy. So this is what they do. They're starting to try and develop some social skills. They play, they wrestle. All of that good stuff is what they do. So let's take a look and see who's who. On my last video, it cut off before I got to Richie and Ralph. I'm sorry, guys. Technology being what it is, sometimes it just does that. So, let's see. Who's this? Who's this in my lap? Let's check your collar. Green collar. That is Richie. So, this is Richie. This is Richie. Say hi. Say hi, hi, hi. That's Richie. He's getting lighter and bigger, eating everything that's not nailed down. So this one here that I'm petting, this is Richie. Richie likes to pounce. As you can see, he jumps on things. Hey you, play nice. Play nice, Fonzie. All right, of course, Ralph went way over there because he's gonna be next. Play nice. You can kind of see who's trying to be alpha of this pack. Little one, come here. Which one do we got going on over here? Grumpy Grump, blue. Grumpy Grump is Fonzie. So, Fonzie's parent know that Fonzie is gonna be a handful and he's gonna need some training and some boundaries. <laughs> All right, let's see. We did Richie. Let's go get Ralph. Hi, Ralph. Can we get you now? Come here. That's Ralph. Over there. 
little blonde guy in the corner right yonder, that's Ralph. And now that I'm trying to save him, he's gonna go as far away as possible. Really? Really, Ralph? They're just everywhere. They're so excited. Come here, lovey. Come here. Come here, Ralph. Well, my goodness. Does it take all that? Does it take all that? Just get in the video. Does it? This is Richie. Say hello. Say hello, hello, hello. I am Richie, and I don't want to be up in the air. I want to run around. So I'm going to put him back down. But that's Richie. This is Ralph. I have wood chips outside of the doggy door, and my adult dogs keep dragging him in. And then the babies find the wood chips. Believe it or not, I swept the floor, and they still managed to find some. Okay, so we did Richie, and we did Ralph. Who shall we do next? Let's do the boys. Since Fonzie is wanting to make such a commotion, this is Fonzie right here. This is him. Say hi. Say hi, hi, hi. That's Fonzie. Fonzie is all over the place. Lots of energy. There he goes. There's my Fonzie. He likes to pounce too. Pounce, pounce, pounce. Pounce, pounce, pounce. There he goes, just everywhere. Pounce, pounce, pounce. They got plenty of energy, you guys. I hope you have energy because you're going to have to keep up with them. They're going to be quite a bit older before they settle down. Who is chewing on my pants again? My goodness. So, there's Fonzie everywhere. He's the dark pup with lots of energy, energy to burn, going, going, going. Going, 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 going. All right, so that's Fonzie. This is Laverne. Hi, Laverne. Laverne's licking my fingers. Her loves me. She still has her little swatch, black swatch on the back of her neck, which helps me remember her. Fonzie refuses to be outdone, so he keeps jumping in the way. And now everybody wants love. Look at that. I get loveys all over the place. Everybody wants to give me lovies. They're going to pounce all over you too, guys, when you bring them home. They're all going to want to give you lovies as well. Hey, Shirley, you didn't get your turn yet. This girl is Shirley. Come here, my love. Come here, my love. This is Shirley right here. There she is. Where are you going? You don't want to be next? You don't want to be next, my girl? Come here, Shirley. Hi, how's it going? There she is. She's giving me lovies. Look at that. She's such a sweetheart. She's such a sweetheart. They've all gotten bigger and lighter. Remember how dark they were in the very, very beginning? Now, I see a lot more reddish and a lot more brown. All my dark ones are over here giving me love. We've got Fonzie and we've got Laverne. And we've got Shirley, and my golden boys are back there. Richie, there's Richie, there's Ralph. And they're all just kind of everywhere, <laughs> wanting a piece of me, a piece of each other, just running around, chewing on stuff, sniffing on stuff. What's this, what's that? Expect the same level of energy in your house, guys. Now, it might tone down some because there's only gonna be one of them. None of you are getting two. So there's only going to be one of them in the house. But they're going to want to play with you. If they don't have anyone else to play with, they're going to want to play with you. So just like Fonzie is over there digging all over the carpet, trying to find something in that mat to chew, he's going to do the same thing on your carpet. So boundaries. You're going to have to teach them the word no. Put up things that you don't want them in and toys. Hard Toys, things that they can chew on that will not immediately fall apart and break into tiny pieces for them to choke on, okay? So keep all of that in mind. Safety, safety, safety. Set boundaries. Create a child-proof environment for your babies. And know that they've got energy to burn. So if you've got a yard, let them out at some point so they can run around back there. Uh, if not, they're going to need lots of toys. 
because they have energy, way more energy than we do. Fonzie, what have you found over there? It's just a mat. Now, Mom was in here earlier laying on that mat, so I don't know if that's what's freaking Ponzi out. If he's smelling Mom and wanting to nurse, she's obviously not in here. But something has his attention on that mat, and there's nothing on the mat but him and siblings. So I'm not sure what's going on over there. But they're just having a ball, just sitting here, playing, running around, pouncing. They like to pounce on things. So, and they have sharp little teeth. So if you have sharp, if you have small children in your house or grandchildren, you're going to have to train them how to be with the animals. And you're going to have to train the animals not to chew on the children, on little fingers and little toes, because they don't know that they're hurting. This is how they play with each other. See? Pounce, pounce, pounce. So they will pounce, pounce, pounce on anyone in the house. Keep all of that in mind. They started their vaccinations. They had their six-week deworming and their six-week five-in-one shots. Getting ready to go home. I know the jury's kind of out on vaccinations. Some people are for them. Some people are against them. But these are not my dogs. These dogs are going home with new owners. So... I'm going to err on the side of caution and go ahead and get them vaccinated because that is what the vet recommends. I don't give them all the vaccinations at once. I do five and ones on one day and their dewormings on a separate day because I do feel like that's too much for them to get all at once since they're just little tiny babies. They're making progress with the potty training. Somebody else went potty. There's another little spot over there. There was just one spot, now there's two spots. Oh, no, three and four spots. So once one of them goes, then the others will eventually go over there and start to trickle too. So same thing at home. Once they begin to go potty on the puppy pads or if you're taking them outside, once they get the hang of when they're supposed to go, then they'll get on a schedule and start going at that time in that space. So you need to take them out regularly if you're using the pads, walk them over to the pads and remind them regularly. And know that they're going to be very curious about everything in your house. If you've got a cart, if you've got a couch, if you've got a chair, they're going to be all about it. Sniffing, trying to go under, just like here. All right? If you've got rocking chairs, don't rock back unless you're sure there's not a puppy under there because they very well might be underfoot. So, it's pretty obvious that we've got lots of energy. They found their bark and their growl, and they are practicing on each other. Fonzie, will you settle down? My goodness. Laverne, Fonzie and Laverne, they are your alphas, guys. The other ones are pretty chill, but these two, they're the main ones over there. They'll all start, but those two, they are your dominance, definitely. All right, it is almost 8 o'clock. I am tired. I'm going to start putting puppies to bed so I can have dinner and chillax myself, get ready for bed. I won't be in bed at 8, but it'll be 9.30 by the time I get there. And since I get up at 4... My day starts early. Where are you trying to go, Precious? There's, there's nothing over there. There's nothing over there to draw her attention. She's just curious. So if your puppy goes missing and you can't find him, look under stuff because it looks like a tiny space, but she got under there. Definitely, he got under there. Fonzie doesn't surprise me at all. Why am I not surprised that it's you? Yes. Richie and Ralph, your parents, you guys made out pretty easy. I think these two are going to be really chill. <laughs> but the other two. The only one that, yeah, Richie and Ralph are going to be pretty chill. Shirley is pretty chill. Laverne and Fonzie. Whoo, doggy. Going to have your hands full. Going to have lots of activity at your house. All right, guys. 
Time to put Happy Days puppies down. Put them back in their crate. It's not really a crate, it's a pen. They've got plenty of room in there too. So we can uh, put a pen in this evening because it's getting dark outside. All right, guys. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. See you later, alligator. Oh, I'll put the description in the description box. I'm going to put my email. If you have questions on pricing or deposits for future litters, send me an email and I will get back to you. All right? All right. Happy days litter out, you guys. Ciao.